Hi guys, it's Ben here. Welcome back to another video. Let's get straight into it. Liverpool transfer news and rumours. Straight in with goalkeeper talk. Now, uh, the latest is uh, about Alisson, that Chelsea have reportedly agreed a 73 million euro fee. This is obviously the asking price that Jurgen Klopp was reluctant to pay for the Brazilian who is still at the World Cup and set to play Belgium on Friday. Uh, a, a report from Centro Suono Sport is saying that uh, Chelsea have met the uh, valuation, 65 million up front, three, uh, sorry, 8 million in add-ons. Um, and personal terms apparently are sorted as well. Uh, Thibaut Courtois set to leave the bridge. Uh, this obviously leaves Real Madrid and Liverpool missing out on the player. Um, so the, his agent though has since come out and said that nothing will happen in the next few days. Um, he's focused on the World Cup, so you know, even regardless of what has actually happened, the agent is of course going to say that because Alisson has to be seen to be focusing on the World Cup. But there you go. So it goes. I'm not going to talk about that now. The only thing I've always said is that after the World Cup, I'll look at everything. The most important thing for me is my children, and I'll make the best decision for me and everything. If I want to go to Madrid, I don't know, we'll see. Uh, so, look, how much of this is true, I don't know, but it seems that Chelsea are still the favourites, as they were a few days ago, to sign Alisson. Let's couple this with the kind of general feeling around Liverpool at the moment and kind of other things that you might have heard. Uh, the Echo posted today um, just a, a basic sort of predicted eleven. Um, or, or, or looking at what the lineup might be for Chester versus Liverpool this Saturday um, at three o'clock, they basically just were talking about all the players. And Loris Karras was mentioned, and it said that as it stands, Loris Karras is set to be Liverpool's number one. It's just that, that, and that is just as it stands because, as Christian Walsh explained in a tweet afterwards, Christian Walsh who works at the Echo, it wasn't meant to be, it wasn't supposed to be news from Paul Gorst. It's just. At the moment, because Liverpool haven't made any progress on any other signings, Karras is set to be number one. Um, now, that possibility is becoming more and more apparent by the day. There was some kind of rumours going around around the ITKs um, the other day about Jasper Sillison and the fact that he was on his way in. Um, Peter Phillips, um, who I rarely cite on here, um, said that a new keeper is about to join, everyone started speculating as to who it was, people said Joe Hart, I would have had a heart attack, um, people were thinking Jack Butland and then Graham Kelly, another ITK said you'd wish it was uh, Jack Butland, now Graham Kelly, um, I have mentioned him before, he was one of the first to break the Nabil Fakir stuff, um, he's, not a, he's not a blagger, like he, he, he does know what he's talking about, um, so has something happened there, but that was supposedly Sillison that they were talking about, and then James Pearce came out and said there's no interest in Sillison. So, conflicting reports, just like there was with the Fakir stuff at the start, nobody really can tell me, or tell us with any certainty what is going on, but you have to consider now that the thought of Loris Karras being on number one for the new season is a possibility. Where do you stand on that? I mean, I know a lot of you are going to be annoyed. Is there, a, is there anyone that follows me or is watching this right now that is kind of okay with Karras being number one? Um, I understand it. I, I mean, we should sign a keeper. I mean, with Mignolet leaving especially. Um, but I'm in the camp of I don't think we can write the season off or we can write our chances off even if he is our number one. Um, he cost us a Champions League final, there's no doubt about it. He is going to be very scarred, it's going to be a long road back. But we've strengthened in so many other areas. We are, we are going to have a much stronger squad than we had last season. The points total can be a lot higher than it was last season. Plus, you know, everyone is even more better than your Salas, your Oxlade Chamberlain when he comes back. Uh, Andy Robertson is going to play from the start. So much is going to come together to the point where you'd expect us to get more than 75 points this season. Plus, we're going to have a number one goalkeeper uh, that knows he's number one all the way throughout, especially if Klopp you know, talks to him in pre-season and gives him the confidence that he needs. That's kind of me playing devil's advocate, I guess, because I would still rather us go out and buy another keeper. But with those points in mind, um, I still think we can compete at the very top of the Premier League, even if Karras is our number one. Uh, he's cost us a lot of points in the past. But when he did come in last season uh, in the Premier League, how many points can you really say that he cost us compared to how many he saved us? Um, some great saves against Spurs, uh, one or two others um, that don't spring to mind right now, but some, some real top, top saves. Um, and his overall commanding of the penalty area, coming in, claiming crosses, quickly distributing the ball uh, was impressive. Um, but yeah, his confidence is going to be shot, you'd think. I mean, um, he's made mistakes before and he's come back. 
but this one obviously is the biggest one. It's not ideal. I would rather we got Allison or obviously Oblak or even even Nick Pope as I've, as I've kind of been beating with that drum. Um, I've seen talk of Matt Ryan, uh, just just literally talk on Twitter of Matt Ryan. So we'll see. But yeah, at the moment, Allison to Chelsea looks like it's it's you know gathering pace. Karras may well be our number one uh, if we're not interested in Sillison. Who knows uh, what is going to happen. Uh, speaking of Liverpool links, uh, Yeri Mina of Barcelona has been a name banded around. He obviously scored for Colombia against England last night. He scored three goals in the World Cup. He signed for Barcelona earlier on in 2018, but has only made five appearances in the league. Um, so he hasn't been able to stamp his authority on that Barcelona defence. So he's been linked with a few clubs this summer. Fenerbahce supposedly interested. I saw Everton linked. And yeah, um, Photomac in Turkey. Uh, are saying that Liverpool are interested. So there you go, t uh, take that for what it is. He's obviously a commanding centre-half, he can score goals, he's always got a great presence. Really impressive in the World Cup, so that would obviously be an exciting one. But nothing too legitimate just yet. What is legitimate is that Liverpool are looking to sign uh, Kiana Hoover from Ajax, a player I've never heard of. It's another youngster, 16 years old. Uh, he can play across the back, right back or centre-back. Uh, apparently he's been training at the club this week. Um, he's an under-16 international for Holland, so there you go, that is another piece of business that we're looking to do with a youngster. Um, I mentioned ITKs, uh, there's also rumours going around today about Shakiri. Um, uh, again, well, apparently a guy called Chris Hurst, um, who Graham Kelly seems to trust and has mentioned uh, that there's going to be an announcement tomorrow on Shakiri. so maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but there you go. Just. Letting you know that there's talk on Twitter of a Shakiri announcement tomorrow. It makes sense seeing he's obviously he's home from the World Cup. Um, might be a bit soon for that, but we shall see. That wraps it all up for today. Not as busy a day as usual. I think the biggest issue at the moment is the goalkeeper. No, but Fakir stuff is rumbling on a bit, but it's getting a bit boring, if I'm honest. Um, the World Cup is far from boring. No, England are through, so Henderson and Trent stick around for a little bit longer. Uh, the game will clash. The quarter-final game will clash with Chester versus Liverpool, if anyone cares about that. Um, I'll obviously be at Chester. That is the priority. Liverpool are always a priority. Uh, hopefully see Fabinho and Naby Keita in Liverpool shirt for the first time. That's all for me today, guys. Subscribe to this channel if you're new and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. And I'll see you next time.